Hello everyone, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Ito is now right around the corner, but many are wondering whether or not he will actually be good upon his release. Although we can't come to a definitive answer since he has not been officially playtested, since we did get more information about his general kit from MiHoYo's official 2.3 livestream, we can start to speculate how he will perform given what we already have in the game. Since Ito will be the very first 5-star DPS Geo character in Genshin, he's going to have some pretty big shoes to fill. So let's go ahead and break down everything we currently know about him and see if he's going to meet the current standards for main DPS. DPSs. If you do end up enjoying the video or find it helpful at all, please feel free to leave me a like and comment down below with what you currently think about Ito. I'm actually pretty curious to see what people think about Ito prior to his release, and I would appreciate the support considering that it does help me boost into the YouTube algorithm. Alright, and with all that out of the way, let's jump into the video. First we're going to start by breaking down Ito's kit, and then we'll move on to his team synergies, artifacts, and weapons to see how he might perform when he finally releases. So Ito is going to be a 5-star Geo Claymore that specializes in normal and charged attacks and primarily scales off of defense. The the entirety of Ito's kit revolves around building stacks of his ability Superlative Super Strength, and Ito gains these stacks through a combination of normal attacks, his skill, and his burst. These stacks essentially allow Ito to perform a unique charge attack that are stronger and faster than his normal charge attacks, and on top of this when you do use a stack, these charge attacks do not consume stamina. Each charge attack uses up one of his superlative super strength stacks, and when all have been used up, Ito will finish off with a strong finishing move. His first passive grants him increased interruption resistance to make his continuous charge attacks easier to perform, and his second passive increases his special charge attacks by a certain percentage of his defense. Ito's skills hurls an adorable little ox Ushi at his opponents that taunts enemies similar to Amber, Ganyu, and Mona's skills. This will definitely be important for grouping up enemies since he is a melee character. His skill also provides Ito with superlative super strength stacks when it hits an opponent or when it leaves the field. Ushi is also considered a geo construct and will disappear when its HP is depleted or its cooldown runs out. And last but not least we have Ito's burst form which is sure to be his main source of damage. Ito's burst unleashes his Oni King form and when in this form Ito's normal charge and plunging attack damage will be turned into geo. During his burst Ito takes increased damage from physical and elemental attacks, but to compensate for this he does get an additional attack speed bonus, as well as an additional attack bonus based off of his defense. It's also important to note that his burst does cost 70 energy, meaning he might have some burst uptime issues without proper batteries. So what can we gather based on his kit? Well first of all, we can tell that Ito is most likely going to be a very heavy hitter. Everything in his kit revolves around stacking his super strength buffs, and dealing more and more damage by increasing his speed and his attack based off of his defense. This essentially means that we can expect Ito to be a very good main DPS, but only a DPS. Ito has no supportive capabilities outside of his skill's taunting ability, and almost demands to be out on the field as much as possible to continuously build his stacks and deal damage. This means that Ito is most likely going to be a fairly selfish DPS that will heavily rely on good sub DPS and support units that can support him well from off field. However, it's important to note that since he is a Geo unit, elemental reactions will not do much for Ito besides producing shields from Crystallize. This means that units that would typically be used like Xingxiu, Beidou, Fischl, Rosaria, Shangling, etc. aren't going to do very much for Ito damage-wise compared to when they're used on other team comps. Also, because Ito is a Geo unit, Animo supports are going to do next to nothing outside of providing crowd control, meaning characters like Venti, Kazuha, and Sucrose are probably going to be better off on other teams. This means that the best Ito comps are going to be primarily focused on enhancing Ito's damage as much as possible without relying on elemental reactions. You can probably see where I'm going with this. Like many have already said, full Geo comps are going to be the name of the game. This is mainly because Geo Resonance increases shield strength by 15%, and additionally, characters protected with a shield will have the following special characteristics. They have their damage increased by 15%, and dealing damage to enemies will also decrease their Geo Res by 20% for 15 seconds. This means that Ito's best supports are most likely going to be Goro, Albedo, Zhongli, Noel, Ningguang, Yunjin, and possibly even Bennett and Sara in a flex spot if you want an additional attack. Attack buff. However, because Ito is so defense and geo damage oriented, Goro is without a doubt going to be Ito's best support by a long shot. In fact, these two are practically going to be joined at the hip at all times, and I really wouldn't recommend separating them if you do manage to get both while pulling. And because Goro can only reach his full potential with at least three geo units so that he can not only achieve his defense and interruption resistance buffs, but also his team wide geo bonus damage buff, this means that slotting in at least one other geo unit besides Ito and Goro is going to be a must, or at least as close to a must as you can possibly get. Not to mention if you do finally manage to get Goro up to C6, that his Geo crit damage bonus also scales based on how many members that you have on your team up to 3. 
Honestly, all of this can be seen as a very good thing or a bad thing depending on how you look at it. This means that building team comps for Ito is going to be pretty straightforward in terms of who you want to pick, but at the exact same time this means that you're going to have a very limited pool to pick from. And considering that two of his best sub DPS units are probably going to be Albedo and Zhongli who are 5 stars, this does mean that it could get pretty expensive primo wise, if you want to support him with the absolute best units that he has available. Okay, but what about weapon options? Obviously, his best in slot is going to be his signature weapon, the Red Horn Storm Thresher. Not only will it give Ito an insane additional 88.2% crit damage at level 90, but it also boosts his defense by an additional 28% and gives his normal and charged attacks an additional 40% increase in damage based on his total defense. Overall, there are no weapons that are going to come even close to this in terms of total damage or ease of build, but if we were to look at his next best 5 star options, it would definitely be the Wolf's Gravestone and the Unforged. Because they're 5 stars, they obviously have very high base attacks, and although it's not as valuable as crit rate or crit damage, the attack percent substats are still nice. The Wolf's Greystone can also be nice because it can provide an attack bonus to the entire team when conditions are met, and the Unforged can also provide additional attack to Ito if he is protected by a shield, which you're definitely going to want considering that Ito does become more vulnerable to damage when he's in his burst form. As for 4 star options, the Battle Pass weapon Serpent Spine is definitely going to be Ito's top damage dealing 4 star weapon due to its decent attack stat and most importantly the consistency it provides with its crit substat. Just keep in mind that while it does give you an additional damage bonus, it also increases the damage taken, and since Ito has his resistance dropped anyway during his burst, this could be very dangerous if you do not have a proper shield up. As for free to play options, he really only has two, first being the white blind that will boost his defense by a whopping 51.7% at level 90 and provides additional attack and defense buffs when hitting enemies with normal and charge attacks which does synergize very well with his kit. The other option is the Black Cliff Slasher that gives him an additional 55.1% crit damage at level 90, and an additional attack buff depending on how many enemies you're able to defeat up to 3 stacks. Overall, this does mean that he will have some decent options for free-to-play players and low-spending players. However, I do think that the difference between an Ito with his signature weapon and without might be pretty sizable. As for artifacts, there's really just one option, the brand new set, the Husk of Opulent Dreams. But with the 4-piece set, you can gain an additional 24% defense and 24% geo damage at max stacks. This means if you meet all the conditions, you'll have an additional 54% defense and 24% geo bonus damage. By and large, this is Ito's absolute best set and you should definitely be hunting for this if you want to be a dedicated Ito main. However, just like farming for any set, it can be difficult to get a proper 4 piece set soon, so until you do manage to get a 4 piece Husk of Opulent Dream set, you can always settle for getting a 2 piece set with a 2 piece Archaic Petra set. However, there is one big issue that I do need to address. Getting one full 4 piece set is difficult in and of itself, but you need to keep in mind that you might actually need to farm for 3 to 4 sets of this artifact set depending on what geo units you end up using. It's looking more and more likely that Goro is going to want this set since he scales off of defense, Albedo definitely wants this set if you want him to deal more damage since it is his best damage dealing option, Noelle also wants this set since this is also her new best damage dealing option, and if the rumors are true and Yunjin actually does scale off of defense, she might also want a 4 piece set. This means if you want your whole team to run properly and at max capacity, you might have to farm this set 3 to 4 times. I've been farming since the very beginning of 2.3, and I've only managed to get 2 good sets so far. And by good, I definitely don't mean perfect because they're still lacking in certain substats. But I think that this is really important to bring to people's attention, especially for free to play players, because this means if you're completely free to play and do not refresh, then you could be looking at months of dedicated farming to this set and this set alone, which could be a huge deterrent for a lot of players. Okay, so now we've covered Ito's kit, his possible team comps, weapons, and artifacts. But what can we conclude from all of this? Let's break things down in terms of positives and negatives. For positives, Ito is a main DPS unit that will hit very hard and burst down his enemies with his normal and charged attacks. He's able to buff his own damage through his own kit and passives. He has access to Goro who can buff his defense, interruption resistance, and geo damage as well as buffing his geo crit damage at C6. He pairs very well with Albedo and Zhongli for shielding, sub DPS, and energy battery. He has a strong signature weapon, but also has decent budget options for free to play players. He has access to the Husk of Opulent Dreams set which greatly boosts his overall damage. And he's not reliant on popular sub DPS units like Bennett, Xingxiu, Shangling, etc. to deal a lot of damage. As for negatives, Ito is extremely vulnerable during his burst and will be heavily reliant on strong shields to stay alive. He doesn't offer very much to his team outside of raw damage and his skills taunt. 
team comps are going to be very limited due to wanting at least two other Geo members on his team. He is almost completely reliant on Goro to reach his maximum potential. His high burst cost can lead to energy problems without a good battery. Farming for Ito's artifact set and his teammates' artifact set is going to be extremely expensive resin-wise since they all seem to want the Husk of Opulent Dream set. And the difference between a Whale Ito and a free-to-play Ito might actually be pretty substantial. Okay, but now we finally made it to the section that everyone's been waiting for, should you actually summon for Ito? Overall, I think Ito's actually going to be a very strong main DPS unit that can deal a substantial amount of damage without elemental reactions. In this regard, he's actually pretty similar to Eula and Xiao. However, like these two units, he seems like he will probably be a very selfish DPS that doesn't offer very much back to his team in terms of utility. Also, just like Yula and Xiao, he's going to be heavily reliant on his teammates in order to function properly and efficiently. And while he does have access to very good teammates, the pool of characters that you can actually choose from is actually pretty small, meaning that you're going to have to snipe certain characters in order to play him at his max potential. And while he does have an excellent artifact set that can boost his damage, Farming for a good 4-piece set for both him and his teammates is going to be very expensive resin-wise, so if you want to play him at his max, you're going to have to be committed to farming for a pretty long time. I also want to point out that his ascension materials, as well as his artifacts and weapon ascension materials are all found in Inazuma, meaning that if you are a new player, then you're going to really struggle to level him up until you eventually make it to the current endgame. All that being said, I do think that Ito is going to be a very good character for people that have been playing for a long time and have all the necessary ingredients in order to support him properly. However, if you are a new player or are completely free to play, then I think that Ito is going to involve a lot of resin and possibly primos in order to snipe the supports that you want to support him. Keep in mind that characters like Xiao and Ganyu are most likely coming in 2.4 and are going to be much easier for new players to build and build teams around. So my final verdict would be that yes, I do think that Ito is going to be worth it, but I think that he's going to require a lot of investment. So I think that it is going to be pretty important to decide whether or not you're in a good place to summon for him and whether or not you have the supports to support him. And if you're a brand new player, I would actually recommend you going for a older character so that you can actually level them up and not just having him sitting on the back burners. Okay, and with all that said, I think that's all that I have to say about Ito for today. I do plan on doing a follow-up video on Ito when he does release so that I can actually show damage numbers, so if that interests you at all, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. I hope that this did help you out a bit if you were on the fence on whether or not you wanted to summon for Ito, and if you do decide to summon, I wish you the best of luck. But that's all I have for today, so until next time, best wishes, bye.